Mom, we just got back. We are finally back to LE. I hope you are very much happier, Annabelle. Hello? Hello, Daniel Smith. Are you wondering who you are speaking with? Or do I need to introduce myself again? Selena, why do you keep calling me? And how did you get my number? Daniel, even if you get new lines every day, I'll keep reaching out to you. What do you want from me? Baby, how can you ask me such kind of question? Does this mean you no longer love me? Stop calling me your baby and stop this stuff you are doing, please. What am I doing, Daniel? Are you still angry that I left? Is that it? Selena, please stop calling my phone. And for your information, I'm not angry at you. Why does she keep calling me? Who are you sounding ash to on the phone, babe? It's no one really. What did mom say? She asked why we came back early and I thought it was your idea. My idea? Weren't you the one who wanted us to come back to LA? And now we are back, so enjoy. Your phone is ringing. Let me guess, is the office already? Yeah, it's the office. But I'm not ready for that today. Maybe tomorrow. That's what you say. But I know you'll go to the office later today. Not yet. I'm still having my honeymoon here. I need to shower. Aren't you coming along? No, I need to call my sister. Make sure you tell Maria it was your idea for us to come back home. I really love you kids. I know I can be annoying with all my questions at times. Most times, babe, you keep questioning the love I have for you. And at times, I feel you are holding back. Come on, you know I haven't held back from you. We both know that. I know you love me, Amos, but you've just got to trust me. That's all I'm saying. I trust you kids, I do. No, you don't, Amos. You keep asking me questions whenever you see me with a male friend or whenever I come home late. Baby. I'm sorry about that, but I promise you it's because of the love I have for you. You are unsecured, baby. That's just it, and it kind of means you don't trust me. How about if I promise you that it won't happen again? Like I promise you. I'll be happy if you trust me, babe. And I will tell you, you are all that I've got. You are also all I've got, kids. You lied to me, Annabeth. I thought you said that it was Danny's idea that you both come to LA. Why didn't you just tell me it was your idea? And you believe him? Don't believe everything Danny tells you. He isn't a liar. That's one thing I can say. You know it was my boss he says. Remember, and you don't have to remind me every time you see me. Come on, Maria. How was the vacation? I saw your pictures all over the internet. You were both having a lot of fun. Maria, I had a great time. I enjoyed every bit of it. Then why did you want to come home? You were to spend five months. I didn't want to come home, believe me. It was just the office, that's it. The office was doing fine without Danny. Madame Shelley had it all down for Danny, and she knows how to run it way better than anyone. I knew Mrs. Shelley was running it well, but Danny's mind was at the office. His or yours? Even though he didn't say it, Maria, I knew. He couldn't spend a day without talking on the phone for several hours, and it was all about work. Well, I believe you. I think Danny's like that because of the promise he made to Madame Cassie. And you are lucky to have him. I know that. He treats me so well. He loves me. He adores me and worships me. Well, I believe you. You are making me have goosebumps all over my body. I wish I know what love feels like. <laughs> Allow someone to love you, Maria. What about Nathaniel, the singer? We went out a bit, but he turned sore. He was always budging me a lot, so I ended things with him. Why would you do that? I liked him with his sweet melodious voice. Yeah, I also love it when he sing. But he's not the one for me. Everyone isn't for you, Maria. That's what you keep on saying. You're too picky. But don't worry. I'll find someone for you. I'm not interested in your blind dates, Annabelle. Where are the gifts you brought for me? I hope you got something from every place you visited. I tried to. I had the ring with me. But I found it hard to pop out the question. Why couldn't you ask her the question? I thought you said you were ready. You know the reason, Ken. Because I think she's going to cheat on me when things aren't going well. You know what? What if she's with me because I'm doing well? I don't know why you keep thinking this way. I really don't. Keith loves you, man. You don't know her. So how do you know that she loves me? Because you told me how much she cares about you and wants you to be happy. How? Kane, you've got to follow your heart, forget about the past, move on. I'm very certain that Annabelle has moved on, so why can't you? You know what, Kennedy, you are right. I've got to move on. 
I'm going to ask her to marry me today. I'm going over to her office right now. That's a very good decision. Thank you, man. I don't know why he can't just trust her and do what he's got to do. Kennedy, do you think I'm making the right decision? I mean, what is she cheating on me already? Oh my gosh, Amos, do you know what I think? I think you shouldn't propose anymore. Just go home and rest. Think about this over and over, then make a decision. <laughs> I was just joking with you. I'm going to propose right away. Yes, send her in. I'm expecting her. I can see that you're quite surprised to see me. Didn't you get my message that I sent this morning? Selina. What are you doing here? You are actually what they say you are, Daniel Smith, the owner of this company. You can't be here, Selina. I have an important meeting with a client. I see. Well, baby, I'm the important client, Miss Ellen Gate Haley. What? Selina, see, I don't know what you want or why you are here, but you need to leave. This isn't the way to treat a woman you once loved. Come on, Daniel. Once loved, yes, but no longer love. Just take yourself out of my office. Or else what? What are you going to do? Call the security on me to take me out? I don't want to do anything like that. But I might be forced to do that, Selena. Go ahead and do that. Please do that. Shit. Fine. You know what? Let's talk. Isn't that what you want us to do? That's part of it. But I don't want us to talk here. Why don't you take me out so we can talk? I'm very busy as you can see. How about later in the evening if I come over to your place? <laughs> Selena. Make it true. Cause I've given everything for you Just let me in You only love what is brand new Baby, I wasn't expecting you here. You didn't call me. I wanted to surprise you. I hope you are not too busy to spare me some of your time. Come on, baby, sit down. I'm never too busy for you. I'm happy to see you here. I wanted to talk to you and I decided to come over. Is it okay if we talk here or somewhere else? The office is fine, unless you want us to step out, but that will have to be by my lunch break, and that is in about two hours, so I think the office is fine. Kids, I know the past few days I've been acting quite differently towards you, and I'm very sorry for my actions towards you, for not trusting you and always thinking you are doing something wrong. I understand why you were acting that way, and I forgive you, babe, for all that. I'm just scared, you know. I'm scared of losing you because I've fallen in love with you. You're not going to lose me. I keep telling you that I'm here to stay with you. Kids, I know. That's why I want you to look beyond my flaws and marry me, baby. Oh my god, baby, I wasn't expecting this. I want you to marry me, Caitlin. Please say yes to my proposal. Yes, yes, yes. I love you, baby. I love you and I promise to always love you. I love you too, Kate. I'm sorry, I'll come back later. I didn't know you had a visitor. Baby, I'm not having a meeting. Baby, is that the staff you are sleeping with? That's my wife, Selena. Not the staff. I think we are done with our conversation. You can leave. <laughs> Did I hear you say, wife? Are you trying to tell me you are married to that thing? Didn't you get that information? Or did your spy forget that important piece? You've got to be joking. No one said a thing on you being married. I don't believe it. I think I've got to make the magazines put up my wedding picture so you believe me. Maybe that will get you off my back. I don't care if you're married because I know there's no way you move past me so quick. In just two years. Two years, Lina. That's how long it took you to come back to come look for me. Two years, Lina. And I'm still wondering why you are here because I really don't understand. Daniel, I'm here to apologize to you, to tell you I'm sorry for leaving you. If that's why you're here, you don't need to worry. I'm forgiving you. No, Daniel, you haven't forgiven me. If you have forgiven me, you will agree to take me out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that will be possible. I can't take you out. Selena, I have a meeting with the real Madam Elegante Halley, and I know she'll be here anytime soon. Daniel, I will leave. But I want us to still talk. We have a lot of things to talk on. We have nothing more to say, Selena. Can you just leave? She's here. What if I say I'm not leaving? Selena, please don't make me do something I won't like. Please just leave. Fine, I will leave, Daniel. But I suggest you come and see me, or else you won't like what I will do. Are you threatening me? You know I don't make empty threats. Baby, you really surprised me today. I'm doing this to show you how much I love you. 
and how much you truly mean to me. I need to tell Regina, she's not going to believe that you proposed to me. Do you know I'm also finding it hard to believe? Do you know how long I had it in mind to propose to you? How long? We've been together now for over a year, so how long did you have it in mind? Since the first time I met you kids, but I just wanted to be certain you were the one for me. And have I proven to be the one for you, or are you still going to be asking me questions daily, asking me if I love you, if I wouldn't cheat on you? What if I keep asking you that? Is that going to ruin what we have? I don't think so. I hope I'm not too forward, but when are we going to have the wedding? <laughs> That's something we both have to decide on. I want it soon, babe. I can see us going to the registry soon and signing the papers. And we've got the whole time in the world to decide. That's way too simple, baby. We are going to have a grand wedding, kids. You in your white long flowing gown. And I'll be in my white suit watching you walk down the aisle. What do you think? I would love that. Everything went as I planned for it. And to be sincere, Shelley did a great job. Now I wonder why you were in a haste to make us come home. We well, have talked about this, babe. You know what? I think I want to sleep now. You are trying to run away from this conversation, right? Who was that lady I saw in the office? The one I mistook for Madame Elegante. Oh, she was an old friend. She came with a business deal as well. Okay, babe, I'm sleepy already. I love you. Good night. Who is calling me by this time of the night? Hello? Why are you calling me by this time, Selena? I told you to stop calling me. What's your problem with me? Oh, thank goodness. Your spies have told you. Now, can you stop calling me? Selena, I'm going to end this call now. Do me a favor. Please don't call me again. Good night. What's wrong with her? Why is she trying to ruin everything? <laughs> Circling in the same place Trying to get my head on straight 